Hello everyone and welcome once again. So I want to go over farmed fish today, just for those people that may have these questions or are wondering why doesn't James talk about farmed fish? Farmed fish is better for the environment. There's not a lot of um, wild fish out there. I'm worried about the ocean. I'm going to die from radiation. First let me explain that you're not going to die from radiation in the ocean. The ocean is too large. You can detox any small amounts. If you go to your doctor and you get a CAT scan, you're getting far more radiation as well as from an airplane. So if you think that, you need to educate yourself. Um, I very rarely get questions on that. Most people, I think, understand that. Um, but let's go with farmed fish. This is a big concern. And tilapia is worse than bacon. This is probably the best way I could have anyone compare what the effects of not just tilapia, salmon, um, if you look on here, um, cod, I mentioned cod a lot, um, sea bass, catfish, catfish is a dirty fish to begin with, but Pacific wild cod is still wild. Wild Alaskan salmon is wild. They have different and very strict regulations in Alaska for getting the wild fish. And it's what the fish eat. Tilapia, I wouldn't even touch it. Um, it I, I really don't know if there is, is any wild tilapia. It's not a great fish anyway. It's not a lot of nutrients. Sea bass, I'm not a fan of as well. Um, catfish, I don't eat. Um, once again, I like crab, salmon, wild salmon from Alaska, lobster, shrimp, and, um, of course, wild Alaskan salmon, and then Pacific cod. Those are the best ones that I can recommend that are the healthiest for the body. Fish has far more nutrients than beef. Cod is ranked much higher than even grass-fed beef. I don't know anyone that really eats grass-fed beef. It's very expensive, and it still causes inflammation to begin with. So let's go down here. And, by the way, also, most beef out there is fed soy and corn. And before we get into this, this is what these fish are fed. And... The omega-6s are much higher in farm salmon than they are in wild salmon, and omega-3s um, are the ones that decrease inflammation. So let's look at this. Six reasons tilapia farming is dangerous to your health. They're, they've shown recent studies have found that farmed raised tilapia may cause more inflammation. Beautiful. I just spoke about this before I even really read this. I kind of glanced it, but just, just so you folks can see this. And... Basically, right now, it's very inexpensive to do farmed fish. Every pretty, pretty much restaurant sells it. If they don't, they're going to sell this stuff for 35 40 bucks a plate. Yes, it's expensive. And the, the problem with this is these farmed fish um, basically are really putting you at risk for cancer, not reversing it. Um, they have a lot of... Um, cancer-causing pollutants compared to the wild variety. Um, farmed bred fish uh, have been found to have high concentrations of antibiotics and pesticides, just like chicken and beef. Isn't it funny? Look at this picture. This should tell you something. Look at how they're making Look at this fish. They're just dumped in a pool. These guys are here overseeing it. They're just feeding him nonsense. This is not something you want to eat. Look at this. Do you want to eat this? Just like you want to eat from a sick cow or a chicken that they use arsenic um, in, in the feed and they actually dye it. Just like salmon, they dye it pink, uh, farm salmon. It's not pink. I mean, if people knew this, they would understand. Now, is the small amount... There's always been radiation, by the way, in fish from the ocean. It's been there from countless... Countless years. I, I really don't know how long it's been, but the fish have been in the ocean for a long time, as long as us humans have been around. So Fukushima is not something to worry about. Once again, I eat seaweed and fish every day. And if you're eating a healthy diet and you're using spirulina, corella, and zeolite, and you're detoxing, you're not going to have any problems. If you go to your doctor and you're un in, uh, you know, going under scans and you're going on airplanes all the time, you're going to get far more radiation. Okay. So, let, now that we got that out of the way, let's look at this. Now we're going to look at another chemical 
that's in PVC plastics is said to be six times higher in farmed raised mussels compared to the wild ones. Look at this. This is just disgusting. Look at what they're doing to the industry. Then there is another chemical, if you look at number six, that is 11 times higher in farm bred salmon compared to wild salmon. And if you go to a restaurant, they're going to tell you it's the same. These people are not educated. That's not their job. It's not that they're bad people. They're not educated. They do not understand what the body needs and what is happening. So I just showed six, six items on here. And farm shrimp is the dirtiest of all seafood. There is a lot of shrimp nutrition facts, but shrimp actually holds the designation of being the dirtiest of all seafood. So at this point, you need to stick with the wild shrimp. And it's very hard to avoid because 90% of the shrimp sold in the U.S. is imported. And I have been, and you know, probably susceptible to this as well and have been someone that has eaten this and at this point this is something I have stopped but it has happened on occasion but look at this antibiotics residues from chemicals um, used to clean the pens um, it's just it's just disgusting look at this mouse hair rat hair and pieces of insects um, and you don't even want to mention the E. coli that have been detected in imported shrimp so the bottom line is get wild and I have mentioned this many 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 times and this is the reason and at this point you want to look here um, you know it's just explaining that it gets inspected before it's sold which is why it's more important to buy domestic seafood so this is great and you know at this point I hope people can actually I'm just gonna go back on this so people can see it kind of just put this information uh, out there so people can realize again what this has in it and I will say that salmon in my opinion is probably the worst one for your health than the actual shrimp because salmon itself is just an absolutely destroying process to the body having omega-6s higher than omega-3s and I'm sure the, that the shrimp is going to be relatively close as well and is you know definitely damaging um, but then you know look at this the rise in asthma, obesity, um, allergies and metabolic disorders in recent years um, just by these PVC plastics and for those people that are worried that Fiji water comes in a, a bottle full of BPA it's now BPA free so Apparently, Fiji has been listening and paying attention, and this is not promoting Fiji, but I'm just explaining to you. I drink this every day. Reverse osmosis is the next type of water. People need to wake up and listen to this. Sorry for the long video. Again, as far as what this article is telling you, and look at this fish swimming in this farmed pit of water, I want to call it. This is what you're eating, if this is what you're doing. So... I would stick to the wild. Any questions, let me know.